Hi, this is Julia for Rain Reserve. Reserving your rain, preserving our future. In this video, we'll be showing you how to install your new Build-A-Barrel rain harvesting system. We strongly recommend that you also follow along with more detailed instructions that came with your Build-A-Barrel. This will help you avoid mistakes and extend the life of your system. Let's begin. First, you're going to want to do a short site evaluation to choose which downspout is best suited for your rain reserve system. You should determine where water will be used most frequently and locate the nearest downspout. Be sure that your Build-A-Barrel tank will not interfere with any casement window operation when elevated on its base. Also, make sure the elevation of the Build-A-Barrel tank is above the point of use. Your system's water pressure will be created solely by gravity. To upgrade your system to handle higher pressure needs, visit our online store at rainreserve.com. Today we are going to focus on the 75 gallon Build-A-Barrel in the shelf for chair configuration. The shelf for chair shape is perfect for placing planters or using it as a chair or bench and also just lends a unique look to any garden. Carefully remove the parts from the box by first removing the panels. Pay close attention to the bag. Be careful to not tear or remove with excessive force. Included in your Build-A-Barrel kit, you will find one rain reserve diverter with a three x four adapter, one tubing adapter, one high flow spigot with hose thread connection, 28 plastic pins, four steel pins, one support rod, two dowel pins, one spigot adapter, six feet of tubing, six fitting locks, six self-tapping downspout screws, two rolls of Teflon tape, two winterization caps, one vent plug, one bag, and 16 Build-A-Barrel panels three of which will be labeled panel A, panel B, and panel C. Tools will be required. Some simple tools that you will be using are a channel lock or crescent wrench, a hacksaw for cutting the downspout, a level, and a Phillips screwdriver or drill. A ladder might also be helpful during installation. You're going to want to build a platform with bricks or landscaping pavers to set your tank on. Remember, it must be level and be able to support the entire Build-A-Barrel tank. Lay out the bag with bag fittings A, B, and C all facing upward. Find the corresponding tank panels and set aside for the meantime. Start the assembly by wrapping Teflon tape around the vent plug. Be sure to wrap about two to three layers thick. Screw the vent plug tight into the fitting labeled C. Push bag fitting labeled B through panel B and rotate the bag fitting. Push the fitting lock into secure. Now attach two unlabeled panels under the bag using two plastic pins. Roll side C of the bag underneath. Be sure it is about six inches away from panel B. The key corners of the panels should be at the bottom where possible. Attach five more unlabeled panels using 10 plastic pins. There will be no pins used in the middle. Five more unlabeled panels are now attached using eight plastic pins. As you can see, your shelf or chair Build-A-Barrel is now taking shape. Just a few more steps and you'll be ready to connect the downspout. Connect two steel pins with dowel rod and insert vertically. Repeat the other side. Wrap some Teflon tape around the spigot adapter and screw the spigot and spigot adapter into panel B by hand. Attach panel A to bag fitting A. Insert the fitting lock to secure it nice and tight. With a garden hose, fill up the tank until about a quarter full. Adjust the bag while filling to ensure it's pushed into corners and there are no twists and there is enough slack in the bag to reach the fitting. Please note, improper bag position will create extreme stress on the bag's fittings. Finish your Build-A-Barrel tank assembly by inserting four plastic pins into panel A. Lay out your system first before any modifications are made. Measure and mark the downspout where the diverter should be placed. Remember to measure accurately with the dimensions found in the instructions that came with your Build-A-Barrel. They are critical for proper installation. It may be necessary to remove the downspout from the house to make installation a little easier. Once all measurements are marked, cut out that section using a hacksaw, razor blade, or tin snips. Hang your rain reserve diverter from the downspout using the self-tapping screws that came with your kit. Next, slide the bottom portion of the downspout to the rain reserve diverter and attach. Push the tubing onto diverter tank outlet. Follow the tubing down and push the tubing onto the hose adapter and diverter outlet. Collapse the segments to remove extra slack. Use a plug on the second outlet if you only plan to use one Build-A-Barrel on this downspout. Finally, put your Do Not Drink sticker right above the high flow spigot. Remember this water is intended for non-potable use only. Do not drink. 
And there you are, your new Rain Reserve Build-A-Barrel rain harvesting system. Now just wait for the rain to fall and be proud as you not only are reserving your rain, but preserving our future. For more tips and how-tos, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us and follow us on Facebook. Links can be found on our website at rainreserve.com.